I uh, will say my part about vaccines and science and all that. And we'll get it out of the way. So it was a shared experience that we all had, to, regardless of what side you're on. I'm not here to be divisive. I don't think that's helping anything right now. I'm going to make my jokes about it. Uh, hopefully they're funny enough that even if you disagree, you'll still laugh at it because I just I've, being divisive doesn't help. I, I will say, as pro-vaccine and I'm pro-science, I will say that right now. Also, I will say this. Um, consider the source material. First off, I'm a comedian. I shouldn't be a part of anybody's research. <laughs> ever. Just ever. But the band on the podcast, nope, no. <laughs> also, I will tell you to trust the science. Uh, but know this, I also get sunburns every year. <laughs> Multiple sunburns. And that science has been out there since the sun. Since... <laughs> Since the first person has been like, oh, I gotta find some shade. That's, I ignore that science every year. That's the dumbest look you could have in a first world country is an adult with a sunburn just going, ha ha, fuck. Yeah, man, I really thought I was gonna get around it this year. I, I was doing yard work, but I was bobbing and weaving. I didn't think it was gonna get me this year. Nope, first nice day of the year. I'm just out there like, you don't want to SPF too early. You want to get a good base coat. You want, to get a, you want to brown up even, then you can lotion up. Second nice day of the year, bright red screaming cancer. Got shoulders that look like French bread pizzas. And then after that, I've clearly tried to apply sunblock, but I've done it alone and been too proud to ask for help. And you can see that because you can tell I've just taken the tube, I will squeeze it over my head and just let it drizzle down. Just magic shell style, just oozing down my face. Just a little hot fudge Kyle, that's all. My, my head and face are a ghoulish white, like the, the holograms from the Haunted Mansion showing up next to you. Ah, what you barbecuing? Blah. And the rest of it, I kind of push down around my chest and shoulders. My back is just a series of violent handprints. Just furious slappings. Oh, it looks like it looks like demons had tried to drag me to hell. But thank God the copper tone was too slick and they couldn't get their talons in. Praise Jesus. Not today, Satan. You will not capture my soul for your demonic pits of hell. I managed to slip away in the flames of the underworld. Only burnt a spiky tribal Godsmack album cover looking thing. <laughs> Fucking relinquish your grasp, hellions. <laughs> and then after that, my sunburns are just some variety of what was exposed during whatever stupid outfit I was wearing that day. Because <laughs> summertime, I get real dipshit in the fashion sense. So it's like, ooh, short shorts, long shorts, tall socks, no socks, flip flops, those Horachi sandals. That's a fun one. Tank top, t shirt, half top. We were playing around with some stuff. <laughs> I just have the same reds and pinks moving across my body that look like the weather map of the heat wave that created the sun. <laughs> so, like I said, grain of salt. But I do think that you should get the vaccine. I, j I just didn't understand being scared of it. I, I didn't understand. That was the thing, like people were like, you don't know what's in those needles. I'm like, yeah, that's what's fun. <laughs> <laughs> I did drugs, not all of them, but you know, I never did needle drugs. Let's party, let's get, let's find out. <laughs> I did pills and other shit. Like, what's this gonna do? Make me fuck or fight? I don't know, let's see what happens. <laughs> we mad at each other or just hugging real hard? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know what's in those needles, dude. You know, that was always said by people with the shittiest tattoos. <laughs> you don't know what's in those needles, dude. It's always said by some dude, had like only God can judge me, scribbled across his chest, did it with a guitar string and India ink and his cousin's pig roast, you know? How many only God can judge me tattoos you think have been in a courtroom? I'll tell you right now, it's all of them. It's every single one of those tattoos. <laughs> 
Every single person who thinks only God can judge them has been judged by a terrestrial being. <laughs> only God can judge me. 18 months? Fuck, man. <laughs> I think I might be lying to myself with this piece. I have to start wearing more button-up shirts. <laughs>